Luke 5 from verse, sorry, from verse 18. Luke, Luke at Tano, but they are standing in Wakubina Nani. I will put it a song on for this Swahili. Luke at Tano, but they are standing in Wakubina Nani in a seva. Nazazama Wakaja Watu, Manamchukua, Kitadani, Mutu, with the Kukuoza. Wakataka Kumpeleka Nani, Na Kumweka Peleake. Hata Walipo, Kosa, Akasia, Kumpeleka Nani. Kwa ajili ya lige kundi la watu, walipanda juu ya dani wakamitisha katika matofali ya juu. Wakamuzusha yeye na kitana chake katika timele ya Yesu. Mustari wa ishirini. Na ye alipo iona imani yao. Alimuambia ali e rafiki umesamelewa dhambi za Basi, wale wandishi na mafarisai wakaanza kukojiana wakisema ni nani huyu asemaye asam, maneno ya, ya kufuru? Ni nani awezai kusamene dambi kisipo kuwa mungu pepe ake? Na Yesu alitua moja zao, akachikuwa kawambia muna mojiana nini meoni wenu? Dililo chepesi nilipi kusema umesamene wa dambi Zako au kusema mwoka uende. Lakini, mpate kujua ya kwamba mwana wa adamu anayo ambi duniani ya kusamee dambi. Alikuambia yule mwende kupoza na kuambia mwoka kuchitweke kikada chako ukaene zako yumbani mwako. Mahio akasimama mbele yao akachitweka kile kikali alicho kilalia akaenda za kenyumani kwa ke kuku akitubu za mungu kwa na pesifa tuleza kekichini <coughs> leo sika wakea kuhusu kim alie kuhosa nataka kuhusu kuhusu hawa parasiti zake hawa watu kwa leo kubeba kwa sababu kubili ya hijasema alibeku wana watu wanyumba yake ama waufo wake bifiki inasema ya kwamba wakaja watu wamechukua mtu aliyekuwa amepooza kwa hivyo hawajasema wametoka wapi na our our topic today ni god will respond to our prayers wakaja watu kama vile tumekuja unajua wakati watu wanakuja kwa mmoja wakiwa na ndia fulani Mungu anaweza akawasaidia na ni vizuri kila wakati tunapoenda mbele za Mungu tuwe tunaenda na expectation heart ati ya kwamba kuna jambo tunatarajia wakati watu nilikuwa ninatafakari maneno haya na nilikuwa nasema hata ni watu waliokaa mtu wakamuona Na walikuwa mwesikia wakati za Yesu, lakini siku mwendo waka kufanya mwa muzi. Waka sema, tutahakikisha uli mamekona. Tutahakikisha uli maisha yake kumbeba ilika. Nilikuwa nilatafaka hivyo. Na kibili nasema, waka mchukua na kondoro lake. Ina unikana labda likuwa na chole wa mahali inje na anarudisho dani. Kwa hivyo nilimadisha labda hameweza kujiamusha ama kujiliosha. Lakini kuna watu walio kuwa na mzigo kama vile mungu wamekulicha wake na mimi. Tukue na mzigo kwa sababu ya mambo tofauti. Tuwe wale watu wamo wanaona hali wanasema hapana, haita kana na hii. Dio maana saki kongia tu ya hui mungu alie poza. Madiko inasema ya kwa mayesu aliko ona imani ya wale watu. Ata hatuambiwi kama ni wanaume, hatuambiwi ni ya kina nani. Ati Yesu alipoona imani ya wale watu akaangalia huyo aliyepooza akamwambia umesamehewa dhambi Sijui kwa nini Yesu alianza na kusamehe dhambi Labda huyu mtu hata kama alikuwa amepooza alikuwa hayuko sawa katika imani yake Na wale mafarisayo walikuwa pale <coughs> wakaona ni kama Yesu hafai kusamehea wakamuuliza lipi jema kwenu 
kwa sababu kuna wakati mwingine tunapenda Mungu atuchukue vile tuko ama Mungu atusaidie vile tuko. Lakini kuna nchi ya Mungu akija katika maisha ya mtu. Yeye huangalia na kuona mahali anaweza anzia. Bwana apee sifa. Ati huyu mtu alianza na kusamehewa dhambi. Kwa nini? Kuna watu walikuwa na imani juu yake. Kuna watu waliamini huyu mtu atatembea. Kuna watu waliamini huyu mtu ataamka kwa hili gondoro. Na hivyo ndivyo Mungu anataka nasi tukue na imani ya kuona mambo ikibadilika kwa wema hata kwa marafiki zetu. Hata kwa wale tumezaliwa na wao. Tusiangalie mambo na tukae na hiyo mambo. Tunaweza badilisha mambo katika imani. Tunaweza badilisha mambo katika kazi ya Mungu. Tunaweza badilisha mambo Tunaweza badilisha mambo juu ya watoto wetu. Tunaweza badilisha mambo juu ya taifa. Tunaweza badilisha mambo juu hawa watu walienda wakakosa space. Milango watu walikuwa wamejaa. Kule ndani hakuna mahali pa kupumulia. Hawa watu wakatafuta maarifa yote wakasema na tukibomoa pale juu tumteremshie hapo. Na in, fa- in fact wali spot katikati wakiwa nje walikuwa wanajua Yesu lazima akue mahali katikati akiongea na watu so business yote ilisima babu ya watu waliokuwa na imani ya mtu mmoja aliyepoza apone na sisi siku ya leo tuko na ministry ndani yetu Mungu ameweka na hiyo ministry Mungu ameweka ndani yetu kuna wakati Mungu hataki ufanye any other business but anataka ufocus on the ministry ile ameweka ndani yako ndio uponyaji uweze kupatikana kuna some areas in our lives Mungu ametupatia burden ya certain things na ile wakati utajipata umebeba the burden from God carry it go with it have faith hata kama mambo itakuwa magumu ya kwamba kutakuwa kwema ati wakati lile gondoro you can imagine ninajua every business ilikuwa hapo ilisimama because hata wale wataenda kuangushiwa lile gondoro ilibidi wasaidiane nataka to, to imagine ilibidi wasaidiane juu tukiona mtu analetewa hapa na tuko hapa sidhani tutakaa tumwache anguke tutaona ni mgonjwa ilibidi wasaidiane lakini ndio hiyo msaada ikuje kulikuwa na watu walio sema our friend eh huyu huyu rafiki yetu hatapoza tena huyu rafiki yetu hatakaa katika hii hali tena watu waliokuja pamoja prayer ya unity watu wanaokuja pamoja wanasema hili jambo hatutakubali liendelee bwana yesu apee sifa na hivyo ndivyo mungu anataka solidarity watu ambao wako na solidarity watu ambao wako na oneness watu ambao wanasema hata kama hali iko hivi hatutakubali watu ambao wanaona vile mitaani kunafanyika wanasema hapana hawa vijana lazima watabadilika hawa wazee lazima watabadilika hawa wamama lazima watabadilika mtu anayeangalia tukiwa na imani moja Hawa watu walikuwa wanajua huyu mtu akifika kwa Yesu maisha yake itabadilika na kwa hakika alipofika Yesu kumuona alisema umesamehewa dhambi sasa chukua gondolo rako na uweze kutoka nje na uende Biblia inasema waliokuwa pale unajua ni maajabu wengi walikuwa pale yeye alikuja sijui ilikuwa dakika gani lakini alikuja na akatoka kuna wale walikaa na Yesu na kuna kitu walitendewa lakini huyu sababu ya imani ya watu wengine waliingia na ye akatoka hata maandiko haisemi kama wale watu waliingia imani ya wale watu ilikuwa kuhakikisha mwenzao amepona haleluya imani ya hao watu ilikuwa kuhakikisha hakuna shida ya huyo mtu haleluya imani ya huyo mtu ilikuwa imehakikisha ya kwamba hao watu sasa wako salama siku ya leo ni siku ambayo Bwana amefanya katika maisha yetu 
na Mungu anataka usimame kwa pengo kwa sababu ya mtu fulani. Mungu anataka usimame kwa pengo kwa sababu unaweza badilisha mambo. Anaomba muangalie na huku mbele. Business yetu ni binguni sasa. Bi business yetu ni kusikia neno la Mungu. Nataka ujue ya kwamba Mungu ako na uwezo. Nataka ujue ya kwamba Mungu atakuwezesha. Simama katika pengo la watoto. Simama katika pengo la wale watu unaona wanapotea. Simama katika pengo ya wale watu unaona hawana imani. Kuna mtu hana imani na Mungu. Kuna mtu hana imani na maisha yake. Kuna mtu hana imani na kesho yake. Leo leo nilikuwa mahali uh, dada fulani akasema anasikia kama damu inakimbia. Nikimwangalia nilikuwa nampatia kama ni miaka mingi around 30 or 28. Ni, nikapita tu nikasikia akisema ati anaogopa mtoto wake anafanya interview mahali na ameshaanza kumwambia ni ngumu. Nikakaribia tu nikamwambia my sister uko na your life na Mungu alikulete duniani na kusudi. Umeplay your part, ukampeleka shule but you also have your own life. Akaanza kusema na ni kweli. Nikamwambia you are very young to have such such kind of diseases siku ya leo mpendo wa bwana mungu wetu anatujali mungu wetu anajua tunaweza we can tunaweza badilisha this kayole for better tunaweza badilisha hali ambazo huwa zinaonekana ziko very critical in the eyes of men ukiziangalia hivi unaona this ones haziwezi badilika but Mungu anagojea tu watu wa imani. Watu watakao simama pamoja waseme no. Enough is enough. Sijui kama hao watu walikuwa wanafanyia kazi mahali huyo mtu alikuwa amewekwa but they said to their hearts. Huyo mtu tukimpelekea Yesu si Yesu atamponya. Wakatafuta kila namna wakabeba ule mzigo kama ni mzigo wao. Wakaenda na nia moja. Hiyo nia moja itaokoa taifa tukiwa na nia moja katika uh, maisha yetu ile maombi ya watu wako na nia moja biblia inasema if two or three will gather somewhere together wakuwe tu wako hapo kwa ajili ya Mungu maandiko inasema naye Mungu atakuwa hapo na maandiko inaendelea kusema na kama wawili wanaweza kubaliana lolote hapa duniani Hata binguni Mungu huwa nasikia. Mungu anaheshimu watu wanaotembea na imani moja. Church time ime, yetu imefika. Wacha tuache kuomba ile maombi tumezoea sasa. Na tuanze kuwa na imani moja. Tuanze kukubaliana ya kwamba watu wanaweza kuja kwa Kristo na wasamehewe dhambi. Hawa waliweza kubeba moja amepooza. Yesu alipo akaanzia kumsamehea dhambi na akamwezesha kutembea hata sisi tuko na uwezo huo uko na nguvu hizo niko na nguvu hizo kama tunaweza stand in unity kama tunaweza sema yes sijui kama unajua who you are in the kingdom of god mtu ambaye anabeba the breath of god pumzi ya mungu uko na pumzi ya mungu can you imagine ile mambo unaweza transform for better? Because in the spiritual realm, unagojewa ukue concern. Unagojewa mukiwa na rafiki wako mseme, no, apana, hii hali haita endelea hivi. Tumekaa hivi for a long time. Mufunguke tu macho. Unajua unaweza tembelea hali fulani. Sijui kama unakaanga mahali, siku moja nilipo kuja hii area. Nilikuta jama moja alikuwa naito, alikuwa naito ogedhenji. Nikamukuta ye ufanya mambo kama wazimu. Na ikakuwa, ikani concern sana. Na akakuja nikamuambia safari ya kwanza na akaokoka. Ikani, akarudia mambo yake. Endi aliweka maji hapa kwa kanisa, akiwa mzuri. Nikawa a, a, so concern, watu walikuwa nalala huku kwa mitaro. Nikawa so concern. Nikaangalia vilabu vyote. Nikaambia Mungu, sinyimi watu kazi, lakini zitafungwa. Haleluya. 
uh, najua mnaogopanga mambo ingine hata mmoja akaniapproach akaniambia pasta ulifunga yangu nikamwambia mimi sijafunga kitu ya mtu akaniambia as long as you are there hiyo haiwezi kuwa nikamwambia haiwezi kuwa kama unaona haiwezi kuwa haiwezi kuwa we have power we have power na wakati wote unasimama we have power to change things we have power tuko na power ya ku rebuke certain certain things na tuseme zita change hawa watu wakainua hatu, hatu, hatu jambio kama walikuwa wameokoka but they had faith hakuna kitu Mungu anapenda kama imani they had faith wakasema awa, awa, hatu jambio kama huyu mtu alikuwa mama ama alikuwa let us assume alikuwa aman wakasema our friend hata kuwa nakaa kwa gondoro sisi tukienda makazini hata teseka sisi tukienda makazini na Yesu ako katika mtaa huu tutafanya kitu wakamuinua na gondoro walipokosa space wakasema hatumrudishi nyumbani as long as Jesus ako around tutatafuta namna tumupenyeshe mpaka afike mahali Yesu ako kuna hali Mungu anataka usifikishe mahali yeye ako kuna mambo Mungu anataka uifikishe unajua shida ni kukosa space unachoka ukichoka unarudi lakini hawa watu hawakuchoka walisema lazima huyu mtu atapona na Biblia inasema ati Yesu akaona imani ya hao watu haleluya ati kuna jambo tukiwa pamoja Mungu anaweza ona hao watu vile wameomba na imani walionayo unachua imani yetu sio ya kulete tu watu kanisani kuonekane kuna wingi wa watu ni kutoa watu kwa dhambi na kuwalete kwa ufalme hiyo ndiyo kitu ya kwanza tunafaa kufanya haleluya kwa sababu mtu kipofu katika ulimwengu wa kiroho akifunguka macho ajione ako wapi akishajitambua kuna mtu hajajitambua ako wapi kuna watu wanarandaranda kuna watu wanateseka yeye akijiangalia anaona ni kawaida hata mwingine labda ni rafiki yako na hajaokoka anaenda kwa waganga na anakuambia sijui amepatiwa kufuli aloku mzee na wewe mnacheka tu ni kama kawaida na wewe na wewe umefu, umebeba funguo za binguni za kumfungua umwambie hapana njia ya kubadilisha mtu sio kufanya hivi kuna njia ingine ya kubadilisha mtu patia Yesu maisha yako akusamehe uone mzee atakuwa sawa we have that power hallelujah tuko na that power tumepewa uwezo wa kuingiza wengi into the kingdom Man, unajua tunasikianga at the enemy kutafuta watu wa initiate watu kwa darkness we also have power to initiate people into the kingdom of god hallelujah tuwapeleke huko watakaswe na damu ya Yesu tuwapeleke huko wakombolewe we have that power we have that power kama sisi tulibadilika na tuko na imani na yule tuliyebadilikia Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu na tunamukiri yeye ni bwana katika maisha yetu we can also transform others for the sake of others we can stand na ndio maana tuko na church the reason why Mungu aliniita sio niwe nasimama ha, hapa mbele Alini, aliniita akanipe award hiyo word ni nizungumze ni mtu fulani afunguke macho hiyo word nikizungumza mtu anajielewa hata mimi si kuwa mzuri kuna mahali nilibadilishwa na wakati nilibadilishwa nikaona nuru kuna mtu anatembea hii dunia lakini anatembelea kwa giza ingalau anaonekana anatembea macho yake haioni ukitaka kujua macho ya mtu haioni hawachangi zile tabia zinamsumbua juu ako blind lakini sisi tunaweza simama na unity na tuseme today like today leo tutaombea walevi sinaona ndugu yetu pale ni, anakuja anasumbua watu sana leo tutaombea walevi by the grace of god leo tutaombea wale wanakunywanga madawa za kulevia leo tutaombea hao ambao wameibiwa na shetani kuna watu huibiwa mpaka na madawa madawa haina power tukilinganisha na the power of Jesus Christ 
Ni nini huwa inakosekana in the space of the realm? Inakosekana people wenye wanaweza simama na unity waseme yes, we are going for our brothers. Kuna our brothers and our sisters. Enemy amewaiba. Amewatoment and he is willing and ready to kill them, to destroy them. Kwa sababu kazi ya shetani ni kuwa kuharibu na kuangamiza. Ako na hiyo mambo matatu. Anasema as long as huyu nimeshika, huyu nitahakikisha nimeua. Kwa sababu yeye hataki kwenda jehana mpeke yake. But kuna purpose yetu kuitwa na Mungu. We go for our brothers. We go for our sisters. We go for those drunk those drunkard people. Tuseme ya kwamba shetani amewatoment for a long time. Na tunaweza sema today in the realm of the spirit. Vile Mungu atafanya kazi as long as tuta join our faith together. We go into the throne of grace. We speak to God in oneness and one and one voice. Na tuseme those who have been bound kwa ukahaba, kwa ulevi, kwa mambo mengi wafunguliwe. I tell you the truth, something will happen in the realm of the spirit. Hata sisi ndio tuokoke, hatujui ni akina nani walisimama. I believe somebody stood na akasema mama Mungu fungua wa mama, akasema Mungu fungua wazee. Na the grace of God ikakimbia mpaka mahali ulikuwa ikakupata ukasikia this is the day that the Lord has made I must give my life to Jesus we are here today today maybe you have your own agendas but I want you to leave them all na wakati utaziwacha we stand with the whatever prayer we are going to agree in na tukiagree because maombi yetu we speak but kuna flames of fire zinatoka zinapenya kuna transformation itafanyika in the spiritual realm kuna mambo itabadilika there are some young men and women they will come to Christ whether devil like it or not kuna watu watakuwa released from jail kuna watu watakuwa released from witchcraft kuna watu watakuwa released from mambo ile wanapitia because this is the day that the Lord has made the reason why umekuja hapa umekuja na papas ambia mwezako you have come here with a papas and we are not going out until that papas imekuwa fulfilled in our lives umekuja hapa na papas and this is the day unachua this is the day that the Lord has made for us hata sisi kuna mizigo leo tutabeba and tutaenda tuipelekee Jesus he is waiting for us he is waiting for us we have begun now to knock the door sasa anataka kutuuliza the reason why we have knocked the door because hata open we in just in vain akifungua tumwambie we are carrying this burden and we are laying down to you nae atazipokea na kuna uponyaji utapatikana all over the world because two or three people or 10 people or 15 people they have come together in unity and they have decided to pray we are going to pray for this nation bwana yesu ape sifa we are going to pray for this nation also kwa sababu our economy can change for better president wetu hawezi bila mungu Kuna vitu mtu hawezi badilisha kama Mungu hata ingililia. Tutaomba Mungu tumwambie for this nation we trust in you. For this nation we, we, we know you are the only source of this nation. That is what we are going to do today. Kama hao watu walikuwa na unity wakabeba their brother. Wakasema our brother umelalia gondoro for a long time. Tumeona ukiteseka hakuna mtu wa kukupeleka choo. Tunaona vidonda uko navyo mgongoni. Tu 
unaona makalio yako yamepasuka but enough is enough hatutagojea kukuona sasa ukienda kaburini they took their brother wakampeleka kule juu kwa rufu akiwa very careful you can imagine venye walichoka you can imagine venye walikuwa namweka chini wanasema sasa tumetoa matolifali kama kumi sasa hapa pata mtoshea wakasema as long as ataenda meet Jesus mahali ako hata kama ataanguka hapo his life will be restored this is the day this is the day in the spiritual realm Mungu anataka broken marriages zikuwe restored back Mungu anataka broken lives zikuwe restored back Mungu anataka mambo ibadilike kwa wema na anagochea wewe Isaia uh, Psalms 81 from verse 10 maandiko inasema ya kwamba open your mouth wide and i will fill it kama tutapanua vinywa vyetu naye Mungu atatujaza this is the day that the Lord has made labda tunaona hali huku tunasikia reps tunasikia mambo inafanyika unaona kijana wa miaka 14 anaanza kutumika vibaya na shetani wewe unasema this is this generation unajua that That is the slogan word this generation in generation we are blaming the generation but god is looking for a deborah god is looking for a man who will stand for this generation aseme ya kwamba hata kama kuko hivyo kuna generation bado inaweza kuwa transformed na ikuwe that good people ambao wanaweza respect the elders wakuwe those good people ambao wanaweza respect their their parents let us not keep on blaming the generation now time has come we stand for that generation to say there is remnant in that generation and god is willing to change that generation kama kutakuwa two or three people that will come together and stand in in unity waseme i will not slumber to see this generation being killed because of stealing being be, dying because of drinking alcohol or, or, or misbehaving because of taking drugs usimame tu useme this is now nitachukua this charge hallelujah yes these people said tunajifundisha nao watu walisema no Our brother will not die. He will be healed. Na wakampeleka where Jesus was. Na akaponywa na akaonekana akitembea. Ni wewe unagojewa leo. Yesu anataka kuona ukifanya kitu. Kuna mtu atabadilika kwa ajili yako. Kuna mtu kwa ploti unakaa unamjua. Unajua huyo ndiye anapiganisha watu huko. But right here now unaweza simama on her or his behalf useme god have mercy on that person have mercy on that man kuna mtu mahali shetani amegojea kumuua but you can stand here useme yule mtu shetani anataka kuua father i pray restore that person back to life we have that power to save our brothers and our sisters who are being tormented by the devil tunaweza watoa huko Tunaweza sema we are the church Jesus Christ is the groom of the church we have already received power and authority we can go forth and speak now tuseme ya kwamba it is enough now tumeona ya kutosha labda tunasema this generation it is not only generation hata sisi tumekutwa na hii mambo they are watching pornographies men and men are marrying each other women and women are marrying each other but we are are the church of Jesus Christ there are some people now we can save because they are undecided people wako huko hawajui ni nini wanafanya before they decide we can run for them na tuseme whatever the enemy has taken from us must be restored back in the kingdom of God and this is the day that the Lord has made siku ya leo ndio siku hallelujah shetani hataua Shetani hata maliza we have power we carry the breath of god we carry the power of god you can imagine how power unajua shida you are praying you are 
kama unaogopanga sijui ni nani anaogopanga giza kizima stima siku moja tu ujijaze waambie shetani hii hii giza iliumbwa na Mungu mwambie mimi uta niwekanga kwa stima tinijisikie niko nitalala hata kwa hiyo giza wewe kwa hiyo giza nikiwa nimelala unakuja kufanya nini do you know who i am i am the church and i have a groom who is jesus christ my body is the temple of god how dare you try me we are powerful people hallelujah kama tunaweza decide unajua most of the time atujuangi why we been saved by the grace of god we been saved to save yeah. we were delivered to deliver Mungu akatukomboa na sisi tukomboe. Komboe masaa ya watu imeibiwa hata ingine yetu. Masaa huwa inaibiwa. Una rotate unafungwa juu masaa imeibiwa. Usikue vile Mungu alitaka ukue. Lakini tunaweza simama pamoja tuseme masaa yetu. Tumesema sasa ni masaa yetu ya mafanikiwa. Ni masaa yetu ya maendeleo ni masaa yetu hata watoto huibiwa akili anaenda shuleni alikuwa very bright child alafu naona all of a sudden amejirecruit na a, a wrong company ameingia masomo imeanza kwenda we have that power to restore back the power of the knowledge upon our children to say it shall be restored back hallelujah we have power tusione tu mambo inafanyika na tunasema it is okay kuna watu wamejitatu na wanajua nao wamejitatu hata vitu mbaya we can pray for them niliona juzi kuna wanatoa we can continue praying for them na tuseme what belongs to god will go back to god because devil has nothing hallelujah he has nothing to give or to offer We are the children of the most high God. Na hii ndiyo siku yetu wapendwa. Hii ndiyo siku yetu we are praying for the generation. Venye Mungu atakusaidia pray for that generation. Unasema this generation haina masikio. Tuanze ku decree na ku declare this generation will have a sound mind. They will hear God. They will change for better. They will not be recruited to go into those bad groups. This generation will change. Maybe tunaangalia uh, inchi yetu tunasema the cause is the is the government. No. Tunaweza ambia we don't know what is happening but god we trust you this government god we trust you this nation god we trust you this economy labda tunaangalia maisha hata masa ukumbuke masa yako useme kama masa yangu iliibiwa masa ya watoto wangu Muna, shetani huiba masa namna gani akikushika kwa ulevi usijifikirie ameiba masa yako akikushika kwa mambo ya hii ulimwengu ndio usiendelee siku ya leo tutaendelea na kuna watu wataendelea this is the day that the lord has made hii ile mungu amefanya yesu hakuangalia the faith of the paralyzed person Ali, alikuwa impressed by the faith of these friends wenye walimchukua wakampeleka hata kama hauwezi badilisha watu to world there is something you can do you can begin to act with love in the realm of the spirit kuna watu wezi enda ukafesi uambie brother uta change hawezi change na watu wengi ukufa moyo kwa sababu ha change but unaweza chukua action in the realm of the spirit wende useme i know i'm not able to change anybody but god you are full of mercies you are full of love you are full of compassion show compassion to those people show your mercies to that people this one is reminding me wakati jehoshaphat alikuwa invaded by the ammonites na amobites 
akienda kuface vita uh, alisema your masses endures forever na that mercy iliwaokoa siku ya leo kuna huruma za Mungu God is waiting for your mouth my mouth we speak for anze kubadilisha mambo kwa wema maybe marafiki wake walisema huyu mtu hawezi tembea but we can take this responsibility hawezi tembea nilikuwa nina imagine vile walimchukua na ni kama kulikuwa usiku <laughs> wakasema no today tutaona mambo ikibadilika but maisha ya huyo mtu ikabadilika juu watu mahali fulani walichukua mzigo wakambeba wakampelekea Yesu wacha tupelekee this generation Yesu wacha tupelekee nchi yetu Yesu wacha tupelekee masaa yetu Yesu wacha tupelekee maisha yetu Yesu wacha hata wale watoto wanasoma hata <coughs> wale wanasoma si tunasema slogan yetu ni kusema ah wako two months holiday wakirudi mashuleni ya watu kuwa na, wanakumbuka one plus one ni ngapi watoto wetu ni bright we are going to decree and declare ya kwamba enemy have no portion over them brain yao is sustainable kwa damu ya Yesu we have that power na siku ya leo kwa sababu tumiongea about these friends i want you to stand up hii mvua ikinyesha we have a very good time a very good time tunaweza badilisha maisha ya watu mahali fulani wacha niwaambie kwa sababu ni vizuri kuamini mambo iko si mnaamini uchawi uko si mnaamini eh wacha tuamini iko kuna watu wa inashika mimi haiwezi nishika jumi naamini kitu ingine. Kuna mtu ana hiyo nguvu. Na ameshikwa nayo imemfunga. But wewe ambaye umepewa that power, uka overcome, unaweza fungua huyo mwingine. Haleluya. Wengine wameparalyzedwa. Wako na wako na brain brain something. They can't walk by their own. Wengine wako in coma. Lakini tukiongea hapa in the spiritual realm ndimi zetu zitatoka flames of fire God will heal people even in the hospitals God will heal people in this estate of Kayole God will heal people wenye wamefungwa na ulevi wamefungwa na bangi wamefungwa na wizi wamefungwa na mambo mengi but God is able to heal them God is able to release them. Wengine wamefungwa in the cage. Imagine huyu mtu wako na bidii but hawezi faulu. Shetani amemwekea limitation. We have power to destroy and to remove every kind of a limitation. We are the soldiers armed of the Lord. Na tumepewa the power and authority. We are the people now God is waiting for. Mambo inaweza badilika kwa wema siku ya leo twende mbele za Mungu kwa sababu Bwana ni mwaminifu Father God we thank you we bless your name Yahweh you are alpha you are omega you are there before the foundation of the creation you changes not you are God almighty Who can deliver? Who can save? Who can transform? We are crying for the sake of our brothers, our sisters wenye wamefungwa na minyororo ya ulevi, minyororo ya umaskini, minyororo ya uchawi na uganga. By the power of the blood of Jesus, we pray may they be released now in the 
the name of Jesus. Wengine bwana wamefungwa na udini. Wengine wamefungwa bwana na anasa za ulimwengu huu. Tunasema in this generation Jesus you will save them. You will save them. Shetani hana kitu yake. Hakuna kitu aliumba. Hana mamlaka juu ya hao vijana. Hana mamlaka juu ya hao wamama. Hana mamlaka juu ya hao watoto. Hao wamefungwa akili zao. Tunawafungua every yoke laid on people's life be broken now. Be broken now. Oh shakata bagaya ndobo seketa. Rekasa to bagaya ndobo saya. Seketeri arababo seteri anda. Rekasa to bababo shanta. Mamula kayote ya kutumwa kutoka kuzimu. Ifunge watu wakili. Tunayamurisha sasa. Wale wata wamefungo waachiliwe. Kwa uwezo waidamu ya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Kuna watu wakoma hospitalini. They are in coma. Hawawezi ya muka. Hawawezi fanya kitu. Buwana tunasema. Kufu zako ziende kama umeme. Wafunguliwe sasa Mateko wote wamefungo Kwa magonchua Ya kansa Ya diabetes High blood pressure Hapo shetani ya nataka kuwa Tunamunyima hiyo nafasi Tunamuambia Alishidua Pale msalabani kaivari Na yote ya kakwisha Tunasema siku ya leo Walio poza Katika imani yao Wakafunguliwe leo Walio kata tama Wakaungezewe nkufu In the name of Jesus Kukawe na nkufu za mungu Kukawe na wezo wa mungu Bwana tembea chui ya watoto Watoto kutoka kuzaliwa Paka umri wa miaka kumi Tembea bwana Shetani hana uwezo Wakupitisha mikono ya kechu ya maisha yao Mukono wako ulio chu Uka wakomboe sasa Katika china la yesu Mukono wako ulio na uwezo Uka wakomboe sasa Katika china la yesu Oh this generation Yes Must be saved Will be saved In the name of jesus Madawa ya kulevi haina kufu chu yao Tunawatenganisha Every chain Imewashika Be broken now Because of the anointing Be broken now Chain of drugs Chain of alcohol Chain of whatever They use Father we pray Be broken in Jesus name Shalababo seketama Rema santeri ya rababo zae Masaya watu imeibua Masaya waze Masaya vijana Tumekata kuzungushua Tumekata Every kind of a limitation Imewekwa na masaya kuibiwa We break that code We break that code We break that yoke In the name of Jesus Oh Rico Santa Babose, Rima Santo Baga, Rica Santo Mikatama, Robo Sheketaba, Ribo Seketeba, Robo Santo Bogosianda, Ribo Seketema. Oh God, have mercy upon those man, those who. Oh my father, I will in for the masses because your masses and to us forever. Rico Santo Bagayanda Kuna watu wana kugochea, they can't move. They have wamewekewa limitation. Every kind of a limitation in youth's life, women's life, men's life be removed. Be removed.
it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus wengine wamewekewa mauti hiyo mauti tunaikanso wengine wamewekewa magonjwa hiyo magonjwa tunaikanso wengine wamewekewa kuchelewa hakuna kuchole, kuchelewa tena oh milango yao ikafunguke in the name of Jesus wengine wamewekwa kwa matawa ili wasifanikiwe shalaba bozae wengine wamekosa tumaini may your amazing grace reach them oh god may your amazing grace oh sharaba bosekete ma rikosi kata bagoseketa robo shantori araba boseketia riko pakaya ndoro boseketa kufu sako bwana sitikapenye uwezo wako kapenye thanda lord to where enemy aliweka kambi zake kutoment watu na spiritual wives and husband thanda with your storm and destroy the tent of the weekend the destroy the arrows of the weekend destroy they have no power over the temple hawana nguvu chu ya hekalo lako bwana saraba boshata wengine bwana waliweko kwa mizizi ya masturbation and pornography tunasimama kwa nguvu zako bwana tukisema wawe wawe released from those territories wawe released from those territories in the name we bring those people to you lord we bring those women to you lord we bring those men to you lord we bring that generation to you lord reka baga santa reka santa tofungua watoto wetu kutoka kwa utumwa wa wanaume kuolewa na wanaume katika utumwa wa wake kwa wake tunawatoa huko kwa nguvu za roho mtakatifu in the name of jesus Father we thank you. Father we bless you. Riba shala baboshanta. Rekata bagayanda. Rimi senta baboshanta. Rika santa kila plan. Every evil plan. Every evil plan upon our lives, upon our children's life. Oh, Raba we break it. It has no power. It will not go into the process. We refuse it in the name of Jesus tunaondoa kila mipaka iliyowekewa watu wako wasiendelewe mipaka iliyowekwa watu wako wasione wema tunaiondoa mipaka ya umaskini mipaka hiyo iliwekwa na wachawi na waganga maneno yaliyozungumzwa ya waovu ya uovu juu ya vijana juu ya wamama juu ya wazee tunaiondoa juu ya watoto hao shetani anataka kuua tunasimamisha hiyo kazi tunasema hana mamlaka tena na hana nguvu tena na wote ambao wameshikwa tunawaweka huru tunawarudisha kwa ufalme wale wamechukuliwa wakufe wakiwa wenye dhambi wale wameekewa mikosi wasione Yesu Kristo tunawaachilia kwa uhai tunasema tumewachukua sasa kwa ufalme wa Mungu na hawatakufa wataishi waone wema wa Mungu Yesu tukuletea hiyo yote. Tukuletea nchi yetu ya Kenya mikononi mwako. Tunajua hatuwezi. Ulimwengu unabadilika. Lakini wewe Bwana uko na suluhisho la nchi hii Bwana. Tumweka mfalme uliye muinua kwa wakati huu mkononi mwako. Hawezi bila wewe Bwana toweka serikali iliyoko chini yake mikononi mwako hawawezi bila wewe mitego ile atui ameweka katika taifa hii ili turudi nyuma tusiendelee mbele oh bwana itegue nyosha mkono wako wa haki katika taifa letu inua bwana the economy of this nation tuongoze bwana mahali tunaumia katika matatizo ambayo unaona katika nchi hii bwana 
utawala ulete suluhisho kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu Baba tunakubariki Rima shala baba Roba katobaga Rima santo baga Reka santo baga Wale wote wameshikwa na shetani leo wafanyiwe kafara Twaitisha uhai wao Tunasema warudishwe kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu wakafunguliwe kwa hizo sel hizo pingu zikakatike hiyo milango ya chuma ikafunguke yote wakatoke nje huru in the name of Jesus oh shalababosha tabaka rika santo bagayana Bo Santa Rika Sayana Sharaba Bozaya Sheka Tabaga Sharibo Seketema Riba Santa Tochovia Barabara Zote Zainchihi na Damu ya Yesu Totegua Kila Aina ya Mitego na Mikos Tunasema Haita Faulu Nasema haitatawala In the name of Jesus Reka Santa Baga Rima Santo Bagayana Bwana tunakubariki Riba Santa Vijana walio fungo akili Wakue muzaha kwa hii dunia Tunawafungua 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 Tunafungua watoto wetu Wakike na wakiume Katika jina la Yesu Tunasema hawata kufa kabla ya wakatu wao Hawata ishia kaburini kabla ya wakatu wao Watafanikiwa katika wewe buwana Unasema watoto ni baraka Na urithi kutoka kwako Na ni kama mishale ya vita Mikononi mwa shuja Tunasema hawa watoto ni shuja Na ni hodari katika inchi Na hawata pungukiwa In the name of Jesus Hallelujah we bless your name oh God Delay. Refuse to be delayed. Refuse to be delayed. Enemy anakuwe kanga kwa mambo ingine. Because hataki uone mahali unaenda. Refuse to be delayed. Kata kuchelewa. Masaya kwa ya kuondoka. Na kufikiana. Na malengo na mapezi ya mungu ni sahi. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tunakata kuchelewa. Tunakata kuchelewa. Vine maisha yetu ilipangiliwa. Kutoka tuzaliwe. Oh, tunaomba sasa. Ikafikiane kulingana na mapenzi ya mungu. Na kile ambacho sio cha mungu kikaondoke. Mungu wakabaki katika maisha yetu. Mungu wabaki chui ya watoto wetu. Mungu wabaki chui ya vijana. Mungu wabaki chui ya wamama na waze. In the name of Jesus. Tuainua hii kayole Mikono ni muamungu Tunasema yes Kuna wokovu Kuna wokovu Kuna wokovu wa mungu In the name of Jesus You are faithful You are faithful In your way You are faithful You are faithful In your way You are righteous You are righteous In your way Let your kingdom come Your kingdom come In your way Your way. 
let your fire come your fire come in your way let your salvation come salvation come in your way baba tunakubariki sante bwana we bless you we bless you 